Good morning. So, last week, um, we were, end of last week, uh, I was doing testing of my little uh, API um, written in Go. Um, and I got to the point where my test of the add goal API was working um, in a happy path mode. Um, and now I need to start testing um, sort of failure conditions and make sure that we catch bad inputs and so on. Um, so I'm going to have a quick go at that today um, get started on that. Um, see how we go. Let's open up the old IDE. So this is the uh, the happy path test that we did. Um, and we did a little bit of refactoring at the end of uh, the last session to set up um, all the API um, framework um, for testing. So we have that little is test framework. We have a little server, um, a database connection, and then the mock as well. Uh, we don't generally use the database directly um, in the tests. Um, but we do need to open and we need to basically defer the close on it. So I had to put that in. You never know, might need to have a little peek at the database sometime. Um, so new test, I think. Um, we're going to have to test um, a couple of different things. So in the API at the moment, um, on the add goal, uh, it's pretty raw. Um, we validate the token. Um, that comes in as part of the request. Um, and then we just start a transaction and we go straight into a create goal function, passing in the information we need. Um, so the member ID, the verb value, prefix, suffix, end date, and reason. Um, and there's no validation of those inputs. They go straight into the SQL. And we need to do we need to do some validation. I need to make sure that um, what we expect is supplied. Um, and also that it has the right formatting. So, you know, for the value, it's, it is an integer. Most of that is kind of covered already by the fact that um, the request uh, structure itself um, will not uh, marshal the JSON into the struct properly if it's got totally incorrect values. So you can imagine if you try and put a value of Wibble, um, that's not going to work. It won't, it won't uh, be passed out as a float. Um, don't know about the UUID. I don't know how that works. Presumably that will fail as well. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start just putting in Duff data and see how far we get. Um, and then we'll start putting in some proper validation checks around that anyway just to make sure that uh, we catch any edge cases and things like that. So let's, uh, let's see what we're going to do. We will start off with just the basics here. So we've got, um, that's quite a lot of stuff there. We don't really need all that, do we? So let's start. What are we going to pass in? We're going to be passing in some of that JSON. Let's think. What we'll do is, well, let's just take the whole thing. Might as well. And then we can just pass out what we need. Okay, test add goal. Should we do failure or validation here? Let's do failure. Um, so we 
don't do we we don't really need to test the uh, login stuff, do we? Hmm, that might be another test we need to do actually. It's fairly conditions for the login. Um, let's stick that. Well, rather the um, the token validation. So I'm just going to put a little to do up here for me, and I'll do that at some point. It's not uh, not the goal for today. Uh, so we'll do test. Um, test token. Oops, I always do that. Why do I do that? Test token failure. Okay. So today we will let it get past that because we know that works. We'll leave the expect beginning for the moment, but I think I'll be doing validation before that. We'll see how that goes. Um, the year, month, date, so the end date. We will want to change that as part of our validation. Um, but that's going to be a very specific test. Hmm, I'll have to think about how we structure this because I want to kind of go through all the fields and make sure that I cover each one. Um, so hmm, that'd be interesting actually. Let's um, do what we'll do. We will We'll start by taking um, the bare minimum. Take this bit and Actually, let's just take it all out. And we can always grab it from the happy path. We'll just start with a really, really light um, setup. So, so here we go. So, I'm going to take out. I'm take out all of this. fact, I don't even want it to start the transaction. So let's take out everything here. And we'll take it to got a token string, we've got a member ID, we want those. And then I want to basically remove everything else. So it's as if I've just done the validation and nothing else. And then I want it to start failing from there. So we'll take out all these fields and remember to take off that comma. So it's the least valid JSON. Uh, 
um, expectations were met. And then I want I want to see if that comes back with a false. And I should have none of that. Don't need to worry about that. For the moment. So in theory, this should fail, as is. We have everything we need to actually do the validation, the login validation as such. Uh, we've got a login previously. Uh, we are now saying that we have a token and we've passed it in with a member ID. That should pass. But our add goal API request has no other values. Uh, so that in theory should fail. Chances are it's not going to because <laughs> we don't do any validation yet. So let's see where we get with that. That should. Well, what we were actually expecting here is an error. We want a status. Oh, no, we don't. It's a lie. We want a good status back because we don't want it just to fail. What we want. What we want is some sort of um, <clears throat> message, an error message. Oh no, we do want a 500 error here what we're going to do is we're going to return proper errors. Okay. Let's see what that does. Okay. So it did not say saved false. Let's see what it did say. Uh, I've forgotten what the log thing is. It's not his, is it? No. T dot log um W body dot See what we've got in the message. Um, is that empty? Yeah. Ah, hold on a second. Where did the begin? Oh, okay. <laughs> right, so our failure is... Wake up, Ian. Um, so the failure is 
that a begin transaction um, was not expected. Uh, so, okay, that's good. Uh, so we're, we know we'll get to the point where um, a transaction, sh we know that our test of failures is failing because we're not catching a failure condition. It's going through and just starting the transaction. So, right, let's get rid of that. So what we need to do is actually update the API. So our goal, so we need to do something before here. Um, so let's see what we've got. We're going to just do some basic validation. I'll do it in line here and then I'll extract it out later because um, we're going to want to do this for edit goal as well. It's going to have the same validation plus some. Um, or similar. So let's do some very, very noddy little checks here. So uh, what we need to do is check uh, whether we've got a um, verb. Let's check, check each file, uh, each value. So, uh, so if our verb um do is there like a I should probably do like a trim or something can I do that what's the what's the way of doing that then it's a string or strings strings I just want a white space one. Aha. I do. So what we're going to do here then um, is we're going to have little variables. So we'll have uh, verb equals strings dot strings dot trim space uh, dot verb. And if verb equals this, turn nil, um, and an error. I need to sort that out. Okay, I need to fix up some of these error stuff uh, later on. Um, so I am going to do a new. Where have I done a? Have I done any new errors here? Hmm. I have not. Okay. 
can't remember how to do arrows now. Oh man, I really need some coffee. Okay, let's do this. Uh, so. The new era. Errors. Ah, okay. That'll do. Um. Let's see if that causes a different type of response. A verb must be supplied. Good. Yeah, so our saved force is not gonna not gonna show if we're doing a five hundred anyway, so I need to sort that out. So get rid of that. Um, actually, it's just going to be a straight. See what that does. Pass. Good. Okay. One field done. Value. So the value is going to be an int. So, so not an int, a float. I'll be interested to see what I can do there. Actually, before um, okay, before I do that, I should test failure. So Right. How much do we want to take? We'll go. It's going to be a long function. 
if I keep doing all these fields one by one. Oh well. We'll do it for the moment. Um, so we know we need to go from the mock. And then we need just to alter the other stuff there. So we need to grab the value um, actually want that. So we should have a good verb now, but no value. Right, that should fail. Failed to pass. Yep. Went too far. Tried to do a query. It shouldn't. So now we check for the value. Um so I need to remember to do here is uh, that, and in theory, that too. Why is that complaining? Yeah, okay, yeah, we know. All right, so we have. Uh, how do we test whether a value is set here? Because we do actually, we're going to, this is going to be tricky because zero and negative values are perfectly valid here. Um, So maybe can I test let's just take um let's just take it um and if 
value is nil. Don't know if that'll work or not. Apparently not. So why not? Hmm. Is there a way? Is there a way to test with that a eh? Well maybe the best way here is just to see what's actually in the value. Because I've no idea what happens in this scenario, I don't know what value will be. So, what can I do there? We could do... We know it can't be nil, in theory. Is it going to be zero? I'm going to have to pass the JSON or something, aren't I? Which I can't, because I don't get it. Well, I guess the default could be zero. Hmm. Okay, let's... Yeah, I don't know enough about how Otto and or Go are going to marshal a missing value into the struct. So I need to work out what that value will be. I guess the best way to do that would be to dump it back out for the moment and just see what we get. So let's... Um, Let's do that. Let's can I just do this and see what happens? Why why would you complain about that? Build type float. Hmm. So it can't actually be nil.
That's interesting. This might be a case where I need to query the database and see what's actually put in. Because if they don't supply it, it's going to have to default to zero. Then how do I test for them not supplying it? Oh, I am stuck. Okay, I don't know enough about Go to work that one out. Um, yeah, that's not going to work, is it? <laughs> What's going to do there? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Right. Um, I was going to take it back to where I was before. Okay. Okay, I don't think that's going to get me anywhere because it's just too low a level. I'm not at that level with um, the framework I'm using. Can't get to it. So, Yeah. 
Here's a little test. Let's stick something weird in there instead. See what happens. Oh, actually, I don't know what I could do. Does. Um. See if this comes out. Do the verb while I'm here, just in case. Because if that actually gets printed, I can at least see what's going on. Interesting. Plus Because it's a floating point, maybe it's gone a bit nutsy there. can I do if it's already a bit override in it? Maybe there's nothing I can do. Maybe I just have to assume that what I get is what I get. Because if I stick in something really daft, Hold on a second. That's invalid JSON anyway. How did that pass? Didn't expect that. Ah, hold on. That's interesting. Why is that happening? How's that getting past? Right, okay. <laughs> That's more like it. Right. The bird must be supplied. It's failing hard, okay.
see what happens with this. So now I'm going to pass in really duff data. I'm passing in Wibble as a in uh, float 64. Yeah. Whereas if I switch that out, Okay, so it is going to fail, but it doesn't make any sense. I think I just have to let Jason do its thing. In that case, right. If that's the case, then we will expect transaction to start. Then we will expect it to roll back. I guess we've got to do the insert as well. This will be interesting because I haven't got any good data yet. Hmm. Tell you what we could do. We will. in the wrong place.
Okay. We will start with some Duff data. Actually, no. This, I think it's going to cause us issues, isn't it? Because we're not going to use anything. Just do it bit by bit. Actually, I'm going to struggle there because each time we try it, it's going to have different values. So we do need to do that. We are, we're not, we haven't got a suffix. We don't care about that either. Don't think we're going to need that. Okay. Set into goals. Member ID, yes. Verb, value, prefix, suffix, reason. That's assuming that they're going to be empty. End date. No idea what that's going to look like. Be nil. Try that for the moment. No, he doesn't like it. How do I do types? <laughs> I've not had to do any types. <laughs> I'm so new to this stuff. I don't know how to use Go at all. I do an empty um, time variable.
just have to use the bar. Is it a nail? Hmm, okay. I wonder. I don't give them anything. Let's see what that does. That could be a messy. Alright, so we're going to try and do it. It's all going to pass in rubbish, which will probably fail on the test there. We expect to roll back. Passed in just the verb, so it's going to get defaults for everything else. And it will return. Well, I don't need to do a return on there. Because I'm going to catch the rollback. I'll see what I need to do there. Expectations, do a quick log, expect an error, but not going to be that. It'll be something else, but we'll see what it is. Let's see what we get now. I get token. It's got no rows in results set. Error getting token. Oh, I'm out of time again. Okay.
I need to do that. I'm taking it. I wonder if I wonder if that second set of tests is failing because of the previous test. I might have to split it up into separate Hold on a second. Um Oh, yes, that's why. No, it's not. If It's not failing out completely. So why can I not get the token again? Okay, well, I'm definitely out of time now. I have a meeting to go to and prep for. So, yet again, never get to quite finish things sometimes. Um, so uh, until next time, uh, you take care.